you can see shock and confusion in the faces of Parisians and tourists as, uh, as uh, they tried to understand what was happening before realizing they were targets of an attack. Elaine Cobb has been on the scene all night. Uh, she's also at the Bataclan Theater. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning. France is today a country at war. President François Hollande called the deadly attacks in Paris cowardly, and he promised the fight against the terrorists will be without mercy. French security forces poured into Paris overnight as the city remained on edge, people afraid to go out. This woman managed to escape the shooting at the concert hall. We hid for two hours, she said. It was as if people were being tortured. It was terrible. They were shooting them. It was butchery, carnage, dead people everywhere. I'm just very shocked, another survivor said. Very shocked more than anything else. This man was caught in one of the suicide blasts at the soccer stadium, saved from flying debris only by his cell phone. I was crossing and boom, he said. It exploded just in front of me. Everything went to pieces. French President François Hollande today declared three days of national mourning. La France est forte. France is strong, Hollande said. She is wounded but always rises up again and nothing can damage her despite the grief. Police this morning were interviewing survivors as they tried to piece together the terrible events. Ooh, Scott McDougall was also at the soccer stadium. At first, he didn't understand the scope of the violence. We thought it was something trivial. We thought it was a hoax or a, something that had gone wrong. We didn't realize the full extent of it until we got outside. As officials scrambled to regain control, concerned friends and family took to social media looking for loved ones. But amongst the devastation, there was defiance. <laughs> Fans leaving the soccer match last night sang the French national anthem. And in the center of Paris this morning, candles were lit in memory of the victims. Some Paris schools have classes Saturday. They're closed today, as are universities and city buildings. Traditional weekend markets have been cancelled, a U2 concert too, and Disneyland Paris is closed. Vanita? Elaine Cobb in Paris, thank you.